All right, YouTube, what's going on, guys? All right, so as you see here, I have my UVC light. I was going to do an edited version of this and whatever else, but I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to uh, um, tell people to make this exact model or anything like that because this, this light can be very dangerous. What this is is a UVC light. It's a germicidal bulb. And what I use pretty much is just a pair of Kleins or uh, wire snips. Basically, some wire strippers, some cutting shears. We got a um, one and three eighths hole saw. Got some electrical tape, a screwdriver, and basically, I use this cable right here off of um, an old drill that didn't work anymore. So, um, what I basically did, I took this 20 watt ozone um, generating germicidal bulb, UVC bulb, um, and it goes right into a regular fixture. It's a T, um, I mean, a E27 fixture, which is a regular house socket. Uh, this this feels like it's porcelain or plastic or a thick something. I don't know. And I just took some wire nuts, and I basically just put the socket in there, drilled the hole with the, with the one and three eighths hole saw right to the end. Pop this in because this grommet right here, this rubber grommet that's inside of here, is actually stepped down. It goes like. Like that, and basically you just push it in until it, you know, seats correctly, and um, yeah, I put the bulb right in there afterwards. Just strip down the wires, white and black to white and black. And we put a little switch on here to be fancy. It's on off switch. So this right here is three inch ducting. It came in about two foot, so it was a uh, three inch round, two foot long, and I uh, basically I just cut it down for a little bit over a foot. Um, with my shears over here and I took the five inch end caps and I put it on and basically I made what I made is a little Rokoski UVC light a little handle on the top like that and um, what I'll, I will turn it on in just one second let me pause the video we gotta make sure I put some glasses on the uh, it's a very very strong bulb um, so yeah, just be with me guys. Alright, so that's the UVC bulb right there. Now that right here is basically, I'm going to shut it off now. And so you can decontaminate your tents with PM. Bugs, gnats, all kinds of spores, fungicides, all kinds of different things. So you can do this as a preventative for each day over the plants for a couple seconds. And what you do is you just basically lift it up like this. And you just go right over the plants. So I made it so it's basically closed. So I'm, I'm, I would wear glove with, gloves with this all, um, also. And face protection if needed. Do not want to face this light at you. It will burn your skin. It will burn your retinas. It will give you like a flash burn, like a welder's burn. So you definitely don't want to do that. So what I, did, what I do is I basically just put it right over the plant. And just wave it right over and go all across my tent for a couple of seconds and then we're done now when that is complete um, after each run I will also um, basically just go over the tents themselves an empty tent and then make sure that this bulb gets all in the cracks and the crevices and that'll kill um, mold right on contact so once again it's a UVC light which breaks the DNA bonds between spores and different eye it just it, if it's something bad such as a fungus airborne virus something like that hospitals use them um, yeah basically it just breaks that DNA bond so it cannot complete its life cycle and that's about it so this is my UVC light I don't encourage anybody to make one but if you are gonna make one well it's not that difficult this uh, this unit probably cost me about Thirty to forty dollars to make, and that's about it. So, it's your boy Grokoski, like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the light, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back with you guys. Much love, peace.